All right, hello. I am here with Alejandra Martinez, who plays the female villager. What excites you about performing this new opera? I love performing new opera, and I first met Dr. Fon, um, I, I first got to actually have a conversation with him after performing some works uh, by Chilean composer uh, Juan Orego Salas, and he kind of hinted at this project, and I have always been really interested in new music because I feel like new music is like a new frontier for classical music. You really have the opportunity to take a character and make it your own. And that opportunity is so precious for uh, any performer. But uh, in addition to that, you also have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to take new music that an audience is not going to have heard before and not going to have a previous bond to. And you have to present it to them, offer it to them, and, and help lead them through it uh, in a way that is going to uh, really convey the meaning of the music and the meaning of the story. And so these things together um, wrapped up in this opera that has a lot of really uh, just a stunning, I would say stunning in terms of beautiful and stunning in terms of shocking um, music in it uh, is what excites me the most about doing it. That's amazing. Are there any challenges that you find specifically in the music that that excite you? Uh, sure. I, I uh, maybe uh, not that it's necessary, but a lot of uh, musicians that do a lot of new music have perfect pitch, but I do not. Uh, so it's definitely something that uh, when I work through um, a piece of music that is a little bit challenging, uh, it, it really forces me to sit down and think of the piece as a whole and think of the structure and um, the, the harmonic structure, the direction, even the, the direction of the melody. And uh, that definitely is a challenge. It's a lot of work to sit down and, and really analyze something and really uh, try to understand how it's working from a uh, actual structural perspective. But I think that that actually uh, leads to me feeling even more secure and uh, more confident about my music making. So it's kind of a paradox. It's a challenge, but it's also like leaves me feeling really good. Oh, absolutely. All right. For you, you play the female villager. What are your thoughts about the character that you get to bring to life? So female villager is really interesting um, because, you know, with a name like that, you think like, oh, well, you know, is this some kind of an archetype? I mean, you know, does this, uh, are the is she there to kind of comment uh, or, you know, what, what kind of a role does she play? Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, certainly one part of being a villager in this story is to be that outside perspective that sort of impersonal to the personal story because we have a very personal story of uh of a family in crisis here and this female villager is not a part of this family she's not being directly impacted by exactly what is happening but she's being a witness to it and, and so in the commentary, in, in even as she appears and she says, why are we here? Um, you know, this is, uh, she is preparing to say, I am here to bear witness to what is about to happen. And uh, in that way, the villagers, both the male and female, can kind of be an interesting stand-in for the audience as well. Like we really, were there to kind of um, help guide them in, in their feelings as well. Um, but what I think is interesting is that female villagers a bit more complex than that um, because I find that what she says uh, sometimes differs from what the male villager says. Uh, and she has an interesting perspective. I remember uh, towards the end of, I believe it's scene four, um, where they find out about what it is, uh, what the what the nature of the crime was. And it's the female villager who, who comments that the life of a newborn baby is so precious. And uh, the male villager does not comment that. He actually is saying, oh, that this is shameful and that this is terrible, the crime that was committed. But there's a little bit of of, of uh, sympathy in female villagers uh, lines in her music that I think lead her to um, to have a more humanistic um, a more personal connection to what is happening uh, wow. which is an interesting bit of commentary Wow that sounds so interesting to just get to delve into and bring that really just bring that character and embody her on the stage 
can't wait to see it. Um, yeah. How would you say that the music brings out that character? Is there anything you can talk about specifically in the score? Sure. Um, I think that uh, the a lot of the villagers together, um, we are sometimes uh, in not quite unison, but moving in together in octaves. And sometimes um, we are we are not. But a lot of a lot of our music is um, written homophonically, meaning that we are we are together. We're singing sim the same rhythms either together or we're singing kind of similar echo one after the other. Um, and I, I think that that is is showing you know we are two villagers but really we're representing an entire village right so musically i think that that is um lending itself to that kind of an interpretation that we are um a, a mass of people that are being represented by just the two of us um you know it there are a lot of really declamatory sections the of course the why are we here um which is agitated and uh characterized by lots of uh larger leaps that is is i think really uh interrogatory it's, it's all these questioning right um and one of my favorite moments i do want to point out is um when they sing about honor uh to the uh japanese general and and the uh the music is written with these sort of um, little lines on the notes that um, that sort of denote what I feel is like a kind of a sarcasm, like honor. Oh, oh, I see. We're talking about honor, which I think for these poor villagers, that um, it's it's how how nice for this general to come here and talk to us about honor. But honor seems like it's a privilege that it is uh, reserved for those who have uh, the the uh, the wealth and the standing in their life to even be able to practice honor. Uh, but, you know, for us as villagers, you know, we're trying to live our lives and we're trying to raise our families and, you know, honor uh, as long as, you know, uh, what does it say? Like honor, honor cannot fill a belly or honor cannot fix a leg, right? That line from Falstaff, like, I mean, okay, great, honor, you know? <laughs> so I think there's a lot of really, that that emotional uh, writing is built into the score. Really well. Wow. Sounds like there's some really fascinating perspective work at play between all the different leads. That's incredible. Well, you have just made me so excited to see this. And thank you so much for spending some time to talk with me about this. Yeah, of course. I hope that everyone comes to check it out. It's going to be great.